Hello there, it's Sev here from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to this video guide on the CBE uh, PC380 panel that you see in front of me. Now, this is a very easy panel to use. It looks very similar to the 180 that they do, but that has a simpler display in the center. This is more advanced. Um, and I'm gonna run through all the typical functions that this uh, panel allows you to do to look after your leisure vehicle. Now, of course, there may be some things that I don't include in this video or I don't mention or I don't cover. And if that's the case, then please uh, ask questions of your handover specialist or um, refer to any instruction manuals that are provided. Now, at the moment, I have the camera light on shining. That's what you see is the reflection there, because at the moment, with the power off, the vehicle's lighting is off and it's quite dark in here at the moment. But uh, let's get started. So here we are in the vehicle with the control panel in front of us and everything powered off. So we need to first of all turn on the control panel. We do that with the power button here at the bottom left. Give it a tap, we get a, a beep, we get a screen test, then the display will come alive. And we also get a green power symbol here to show that the power is on and everything is okay. In a moment, we'll get a beep and this will turn red, hopefully any second now. There we go. And that's because we have an empty fresh water tank and it's telling us that there's a problem. Highlighting the fresh water tank is the problem there with that flashing symbol. And of course, we get a red indicator just there. Now, we don't have any other power on at the moment. The vehicle lights are still off. So we need to turn on the 12 volt system. And we do that by pressing the 12 volt button at the top here. And as you can see, that says 12 volts. OK, so that has now turned on the uh, motorhome or the leisure vehicle, uh, 12 volt power, and we're all good to go. So next up, uh, we're going to need to turn on other items potentially. So if you wanted to turn your water pump on, it's this button just here. If you wanted to turn on your outside awning light, it's this button at the top here. And this final button at the top here allows us to change the LED brightness. And we use these buttons here, which have an up and down arrow on them to change the brightness of the screen accordingly. Okay, and when we're happy, we just press that button again and we're back to the main screen. Now, on the main screen, we have some indicators. We have a large clock in the center. We have the external and internal temperatures there above that. We have a symbol showing that we're charging both batteries at the same time here and that we are plugged into mains electric. Now, you may have more or less symbols on your screen, depending on your vehicle's configuration or setup, but also uh, your vehicle's situation. Now, the uh, segmented displays you see to the side, these are for the fresh water tank and the leisure battery. And they're just indicators just to show roughly what we have there. So as you can see, there's nothing in the fresh water tank. That was what the alarm was telling us a moment ago. Uh, the leisure battery is nice and charged up. If I wanted to check the fresh water tank or the water tanks in general, we can press this button here with a water tank symbol on it and we get the fresh and the waste tanks respectively. We see their levels there, but we also see a rough percentage indication there. So all the water is drained down on this vehicle at the moment, as you can see. This one here does the same, but for the batteries. So we have the vehicle battery on the left, the leisure battery on the right, as you can see, and it's showing us that we are plugged into mains electric and that we're split charging. And we have the uh, battery voltages and also an ammeter with an arrow pointing to whichever battery is uh, receiving the charge. So although it's saying split charge, that's interesting at the moment because it is, uh, uh, this is a resting voltage just here, so that's interesting. But there you go, that's showing us uh, that information. And lastly, we have this interesting prog button. What does that do? Well, it does nothing when you just tap it, but if you press and hold, we go to a settings menu and we can set the time. So now these two buttons here become up and down arrows and the prog button is used for selecting. So if I go up to clock and select that, we can now change the time. And the time, funnily enough, is not... Uh, 12 minutes to midnight. It is currently 13.32. So I can change the time using the buttons here. So I'm going to change that to 13. And then this oh, 13, press prog to go to the minutes. And we're going to go down to 32. You can hold the button down as well, as you can see there. There we go, prog, that confirms. Now I get to choose whether I want to set an alarm clock. And no, I don't, so I'm just going to click or select off there. If I select it on, that allows to choose the time then for setting the alarm. 
Next up, we have display. If I click on there, again, we get to change the LED brightness for the main display during the daytime. If I press the prog button here, we're now setting it for the nighttime. And as you can see, that's only at 10% brightness. So at nighttime, it uses a light sensor built in to dim the screen, and that's what it will dim to. So you can set that there as well. We can choose what color we want the screen to be. So you can change the color of the screen, as you can see. We can also change the contrast value, and then we're back out to the menu. Going down lastly to the last option, which is setting, we have tones. So that's whether or not we want audible tones on or off. So we just change that accordingly with the up or down arrow. The internal temperature calibration. So you can adjust this figure to make your internal temperature display accurate. And we have the same for the external temperature. We have the same for the ammeter. So if the ammeter is out of uh, calibration, this is where you set the uh, adjustment value. Same for the batteries as well, battery two and battery one accordingly. Now, s meter is for the uh, LED displays to, uh, or uh, the segmented displays to either side. So I've set those to off now. And if we go to exit and we go save, yes. You can see now we don't have those segmented displays to either side. That's what S meter is. So if you want those on, then we just go back to setting and oh, we have to press prog all the way through until we get to S meter. Turn that back on and we're back out. I can now go to exit, choose to save those settings and they're back again, as you can see. And that is basically it. That's how you use this control panel. It's as simple and easy as that. And I do hope you found this video useful. I'm Sev and thank you very much for watching.